Good evening. I'm slightly froggy. Thank you for joining my stream tonight. I hope you're enjoying your Thursday evening. We're coming up on the weekend. The weather's getting more summery. It's getting nicer. So I figured, why not start a new game? So today I'm going to be starting Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Now, I've never played this before, but from what little bit I know about it, it involves a school, murders, and persona-style social links. So those are three things I do enjoy. <laughs> Not so much the school one, but sort of the persona Ace Attorney style game. So I've, like I said, I don't know what to expect. I've only heard like little tidbits here and there. I've heard the characters are kind of goofy. They're kind of wacky. So I love me some goofy, wacky characters. So I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what happens in this game. And hopefully you'll join along with me. Uh, feel free to comment in the chat. Uh, because this is a new game, I'm getting used to the audio levels on it, so if you feel I need to make any adjustments along the way, please let me know just over in the chat, and I will make whatever adjustments need to be made. It's so anime. Well, I mean the style itself, like, here, I'll, I'll cut over to the game now. Very anime, but I like me some anime, so I'm very excited to see what happens with this. <laughs> Is allowed to turn on this. Oh, okay. Um, you know, uh, let's see. Is that better? Because I even turned down the. Okay, because I even turned down the background music just a titch. I know when I was playing uh, After Party last, I had some comments from some people saying that it was a little too quiet. So I may have gone too far in the other direction, made it a little bit too loud. Um, might be worth to do it in the game menu. All right. Well, Qua, I will make that adjustment. Here we go. <laughs> yes, you are the stream bully, but it's to make it sound better, so I can't... It's all for a good cause, right? <laughs> um, so I won't know what the voice volume's gonna sound like, so I'm gonna keep that pretty high up, though, just because the SFX and voice up. Okay, alrighty. Thank you for the suggestion. Just because I've never played this before, I have no idea what to expect with it, so. Alright. Alright. I've gotten the okay from Qua. I think we're good. <laughs> Alright. Also, I don't know what is up with this bear. Um, I've, I've know a, vaguely a little bit of Danganronpa. I've seen the bear before. Um, I've always kind of imagined him as Teddy from Persona 4's just evil cousin. Which could be an improvement, because Teddy's... <laughs> Teddy's kind of the worst. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, just a quick moment. This is better, Teddy. Well, I'm gonna have to play and find out, won't I? <laughs> Alright. I'm curious, I wonder if you get to name the character. <laughs> Alright, new game. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, English. Yeah, we're going with English. Ooh. Ah. Hmm. No character creation. Okay, but do you get to name it at least? Do you get to name your character? Kind is good. I'm just worried I'm gonna get stumped. Um, I, I will admit, I playing these attorney games, I frequently get stumped, so I'm not sure. You will be fine. Okay, I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> so kind and kind. Kind is easy. Mo okay, so what's gentle then? Like just barely playing it? Oh, it's baby mode. What about the action difficulty? I'm curious. What? Hmm. I, I don't know what action difficulty is referring to here. <laughs> I'm curious. But, um, I'll be okay. All right, well, I'm gonna put, I, I'm, I imagine you can't change the difficulty once the game started, like you're locked in. I know with some newer games you're allowed to, but I get the feeling in this one you won't. Think you can. Hey, K Puma. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we'll go with, we're gonna keep it kind, kind and kind. All right, oh, uh, let's see what happens. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm excited just because I've heard little bits and pieces, but I don't I don't know what to expect. Oh, 
Okay. This is a menacing scene. <laughs> Rut row indeed. Oh. Uh... I'm loving the style already. <laughs> Where's he going? Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> Just spike him back into the ground like a volleyball. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's okay. Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh no. The bear murdered that boy. Yeah, Teddy's evil cousin. I'm sick of that. Danganronpa, trigger happy havoc. It's a happy game for the whole family. The Massive High School towers all over the other building. Wait. The Massive High School towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Okay. It's like the school stands at the corner of the entire world. Pope's Peak Academy. That sounds like a lovely place to go to school, where I'm sure nothing bad will ever happen. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. See, a happy place with a bunch of privileged people, so obviously nothing bad ever happens there. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Hundreds of years of tradition sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Well, nobody's going to name their school Garbage Heap. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Thank you for the follow, K Puma. I appreciate it. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Ooh. The standing and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students is me. Was me. <laughs> it's Before me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. All right, Makoto. Generic anime protagonist guy. Oh, yes, that is me. That's me. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. But underneath, I've got secret powers or something. Average on the outside. Oh, average on the inside. Okay, never mind. It's me. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Wow, Makoto, way to just go with the flow. Be an individual, man. Come on. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. I've watched enough anime. I know what that means. The most, the most average guy in the anime is always the one that's like in the school club with God or something. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I'm hardworking. A washing machine is hardworking. Everybody's hardworking. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Nice place, it does look very nice. Yes, I've, I've even got it on my background as well. Picture provided by uh, a close friend of mine. <laughs> Who recommended it. I wanted a nice picture instead of just the black, so this was their recommendation. Yes. Excellent choice. 
But man, yeah, like your first day of school, you gotta prepare, you gotta have, I'm sure they have a uniform, but like you gotta make sure your outfit is like on point. You know, you gotta make a good first impression. All right, McC Okay. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. That's, that's, that's a good bit of research there. Here, I'm changing up my lighting a little bit here, just a sec. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Yeah, this is 2chan. Yeah, it's, it's very plain Jane message board here. Okay, for example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. He looks intense. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. So what does he need to go here for? I guess to get a step above, because he's the best. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Oh, she's cute. I like these character designs, they're really fun. Did he already have these magazines? She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. What about the pop sensation? She's perfectly fine on her own. Come on. She's got, she can sing and dance. Oh, this, this, oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. Man, they just, I figured it was gonna be a very prestigious place where it's just like, it's the best of the best of the best, sir, quoting Men in Black, but. They're like, no, we want the best delinquent here too, because we gotta mess up our school. Corn hair, oh my god. Yeah, it's the, the pompadour. It's the permed pompadour. Scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. What, and he's only a teenager? What? On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, ooh, okay, the ultimate gambler. Man, they're re they really bring them from all walks of life here, don't they? <laughs> the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, okay, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. Ultimates are a big deal. Yeah, but it's just, I figure it would be like the best at math. The best at science, the best at gym, but it's just like the best biker gang guy, the best clairvoyant. So it's like, okay, so there's powers. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. Yeah, this Makoto's a little out of his league. Those are boring. Bring in best anime otaku. Well, I mean, they have a fanfic writer at the school. Like, why not? Best otaku. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But you said you couldn't read up on all of them, so you don't know that. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Yeah, exactly what I said. Could they just be, could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come up to this ultimate high school? You know what? I think I know what Makoto's ultimate thing is. Um, ultimate low self-esteem, buddy. Cut yourself some slack. You're like, what, probably 16 years old? Your life hasn't even started yet. Ultimate Makoto. Uh, I don't know. I like Makoto from Persona 5. As of right now, she's the ultimate Makoto. But maybe this will be ultimate Makoto. For now. <laughs> I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Oh, they send it to the wrong person? Mr. Makoto and AG recently held a lottery <laughs> to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected. The ultimate lucky student. Okay. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Well, hey, you do need luck in life. 
Hello, Yay Day Maniac123. Thank you for joining the stream. I'm just starting off Dengen Rompa, playing it for the very first time. So I just found out that our hero, Makoto, has is the ultimate lucky student in this school of ultimate people. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I swear this isn't what my username is supposed to be. <laughs> I, then what is it supposed to be? I'm curious. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like, I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. It's supposed to be yay day forever. Oh, okay. But still, I just can't stand here in front of the gate forever. You have to go in. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter, clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. Ooh, that's early. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. Man, that's like me. Like, I'm always like half an hour early for whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before and watch he's gonna like fall on his ass. And I took my first step toward the main hall. No, he has more grace than I thought. Okay. He, I mean, he is lucky. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. Buddy, you got here like an hour early? That is early. My dude, what are you doing? The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Man. You know what, though? I've been 50 minutes early for things, so... I really can't give Makoto too much crap over that. <laughs> Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Yeah, it's not cool. You should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm it down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Ooh, he's tripping out already. There's something in the water. The principal's probably the ultimate principal. Oh man, does that mean he's gonna be a hard ass or he's kind of cool? The ultimate principal can mean many things. What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Man, yeah, he's tripping out. Shouldn't have taken that acid before he came to school. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. Yeah, bad day to drop a tab. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. I mean... You could probably learn something from it, but probably not in a school sense. Welcome to Despair Prologue. Despair High School. One. Uh, save. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? I do like the art style, I like mm -hmm. the sketchy lines. Wh what? Where am I? Ooh, can I turn off auto? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. To count how many times the word despair is used, don't mind me. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... Is it alt? Oh, wait. No. <gasps> Ooh, what is going on? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know how to... I don't... Alt is not to turn it off. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Or I'll read faster. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Press escape. Okay, good thinking. Um, yes, L shift. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. confirm advanced text. Oh, it's a space. Okay, there we go. We got it. So, thank you. Uh, yay, maniac. Here, wait, I wanna make sure I'm saying it. Yay, day forever. 
Thank you for keeping the despair counter going. Um, all right, so let me just get out of this. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. All right. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. What am I aiming at? <laughs> oh no. If you aim at an object, you can interact with, oh, then you can press the left mouse button. Oh, okay. See, I thought it was gonna be like, like shooting or throwing something. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Okay. Use waz buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Thank you for keeping track. You'll be very busy. Yes. I don't know what to expect. I'll take your word for it. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Okay. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? All right. So, ooh. All right. Oh. <laughs> That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Ooh. Well, I mean, he probably woke up early. He probably woke up at at least 6 o'clock to get here for 7 a.m. Like some kind of keener. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. Looks like it's written in crayon. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Man, schools always say that. Jobs say that too. Let us have a life, damn it. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay. Um, that's a very conspicuous camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Next letter you find is gonna ask for donations. <laughs> I know. Valued student, please show us how much you care by giving us money. Money, please. Um, I mean, it does make sense we would have this camera. We do have, like, the ultimate delinquent coming to this school, so. You know he's gonna get up to some shit. He's not gonna study and be a good kid. He's ultimate for a reason. Alright, what else are we looking at? Oh. Yeah, what is that? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Conk, conk. Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? And those are some bolts on them, too. Okay. Um, oh, I can look up. Okay. Let's see here. Um, TV. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Ah, uh, nothing there. Um, okay, and I can look down, too. Um, let's see. There's also a button to show you everything you can interact with. Oh! Um, here, maybe I'll go into the options? Or, whoop. No, observation. Oh, press the tab to observe the room you're in. There we go. Just a heads up, the music is awesome. Ooh, I'm always good for good music. All right, and what time is it? Jeez, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. What, it, oh, you must have been out for a while, buddy. It's just after seven when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? You're gonna be late. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this classroom is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. No, you got put in another school. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a pri like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. I don't know why it showed me the mouse, but... Here we go. Leave the area. Yes. Jeez, this hallway's kind of weird, too. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, lighting and color. I like it. It's neat. It's kind of weird, though. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Yeah, Makoto, you and me both, buddy. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. 
Use the walls to make the hallway. Ooh, what's this gonna be like? Hold the shift key. Ooh, to run. I can run. That's an advantage over after party. I couldn't run an after party. Couldn't run in night in the woods either. Dang. Ooh, also you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Ooh, ooh, I go so fast. Oh, okay, so this is just my walking speed. Okay, so everything's color-coded. Yes, it is fast. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try running now. Ooh, I am like lightning. Spare hotel. Spare hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but I think that's three. I think we're at three now. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Um, there's not too many directions I can go in. I want to see what's down here, though. What is this? The AV room. It's locked. Oh. Um, what are these panels here? Okay, I gotta see what that is. The school store. I The school store has the big keep out things on it. There's a button to display the map, too. Yeah, I know, but I kind of just want to explore a little bit right now. Guess it's not open. Yeah, that's what most stores look like when they're closed. Danger keep out. Yep, that's definitely a place I'll need to go to. Okay, that's the exit, I assume. So actually, let's look at the map then. All right, so this is store, AV services. Okay, so that was the classrooms where I was. So let's see. Um, there's uh, the bare room, as every school needs. Oh, I should go to the bathroom. Oh, I can just have it open. Oh, this is so handy. Oh, I love that. Okay. The nurse's office. Off limits, it looks like. Man, what's going on in the nurse's office? It's got the hearts on the door. Like, people use the nurse's office for things. Typically in media, they do, but it's not normally this abrupt about it. Um, gotta use the little boys room. Boys bathroom, good thing I don't have to go. That room you were staring at while looking at the map was the way. I know, I'm just exploring. I'm getting a, the lay of the land. Can I go in the girls bathroom? Probably not. Girls bathroom, not that it matters, it's locked. Okay. And that way, okay, I probably won't be able to go that way yet, but I'll just, I will cooperate, I will go to the main hall. Wow, that runs so fast. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Wow, oh, hey. this is... Another new kid? What a group. Wow. There is a lot to take in here, Big Mac. Not that it matters, but I wish it wasn't locked. <laughs> Man, look at all of them. So some of them we kind of know of a little bit, we've been told. But... Man... I do like the designs. The designs tell you a lot. The fanfic writers, the one, the girl in the back with the long skirt and the braid. I know it. Huh? Now meet the lovable cast. And you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Can you guys hear the audio okay for the voices? So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Fifteen seems like a good round number. Um, are those turrets on the ceiling? Why are there guns on the ceiling? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Guess I'll find out. <laughs> yes, I guess I will. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Uh, I know he said at the beginning, Makoto Neiji? Makoto Neiji, yeah. I'm sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. He's mm -hmm. the ultimate sleeper. Whoa, you too? It's the mm. ultimate slacker. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Nae- Naegi? Naegi. Okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. 
Uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. This guy is like super intense. His eyes are freaking me out. Listen to me! Makoto, you're tardy- oh, he's like the ultimate class president or something. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. He reminds me of Ida from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Why is there a walrus in the room, you ask? Don't ask. Um, I didn't even notice. There's so much to see that my eyes are, like, not even taking in everything right now. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. Yeah, this guy is so Ida from My Hero Academia. <laughs> what? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Oh, she's cute. I like her. Huh? What the hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. Ida is him, not- Oh, I know, I know. Chronologically, one came before the other, but I watched My Hero Academia before playing this, so inevitably, my brain gets them twisted around. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for right now. I love character introductions. I'm so excited. So I guess this is a good chance, as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Okay. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk at them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Love seeing people react to the character introductions. Oh, I can't wait. I love goofy character introductions. I love very memorable characters, so this is... Um, I'll work my way left to right. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm I believe cute. in bold simplicity. I'll let Let's work together on our educational crusade. <laughs> Ooh, we've got a ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, just a moment, ultimate Ida, yeah. <laughs> He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Okay, so he's like lawful good. Got it. Anyway, you can call me Taka. Ooh, that, that's pretty informal right off the bat. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, Naegi right? He a good dude. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right. He's so intense. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright. Toko Fukawa. Okay. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Yeah, fanfiction, girl. I'm T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. Ha ah, ha! I knew it. I know a fanfic writer when I see one. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Or maybe she's just a writer. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Wow. <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. Oh, Makoto, you don't know teenage girls at all. Make a funny joke about Tokopoopy. Yeah, don't spoil it for me, please. Ultimate book nerd, yes. What's your problem? Wh what? It it's not polite to steer, you know. Oh, that's... 
<laughs> I like the, the creepy little smile there. <laughs> what the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. I got it? Thanks. <laughs> filthy creature? No, I just thought... <clears throat> I know what you just thought. You just thought you've n never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. N no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Yeah, but Baka, I don't even like you. I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to l lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talking about an inferiority complex. Makoto, like, you have anywhere to talk. You said, like, 15 times in your introduction that I'm just an ordinary guy and there's nothing interesting about me. Ultimate shy girl. Okay. <laughs> Take your word for it. Uh, I was way off about what a successful author would be like. All right. Sayaka Maizona. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizona. I look forward to getting to know you. Uh, she's the pop star, I think, right? Yeah, ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizona. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. Is he a fan? I'm sure she doesn't re- <gasps> I'm sure she doesn't remember, but- <gasps> Childhood friends? Childhood friends? Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Here, one sec. One sec. <laughs> oh, shoot. Getting, I have really good intuition. Ah, uh, my bad, sir. I I'm sorry the auto mod blocked your comment, Yay Day, but Yay Day said, sounds like she's an ultimate thought. <laughs> she's a sharp one. Hey, um. Huh? Hey, by any chance. Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did. Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... S sorry just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Y you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Yeah, we got a bit of suspense, I guess. Here, you know what? Here. Just a moment. Sorry, just a moment. I want to make sure... The Air. There we go. Make sure your comment made it in Mayday. Or Yay Day. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. Probably the same thing you wanted to say, but the suspense is building. The suspense is killing me. I hope it'll last. Alright. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. All right, uh, this guy, Leon Kuwata? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Hey, it's Ryuji. Persona 5. Wait, the suspense won't last very long. Okay. <laughs> I recognize that name. Ah, he played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Ultimate lion because he looks- he does look like a lion. He's got like the whole mane thing. That little beard thing must have taken a while. Huh? huh? What's wrong? N nothing I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and Give all- Give me a break. What, were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? Ultimate beard hair, yes. <laughs> nah, I was just expecting more of a- you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. 
I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Wait, but now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Wow, so he must be really good if he's the champ. Sorry, the lighting in my, uh, where I'm recording this is changing, so I'm, like, adjusting the lighting as I go along. So, one moment here. Ultimate liar. Ooh, maybe. There we go. Sorry, just a quick moment. Don't know if this is any better. That's the problem when you got windows in your apartment when you're trying to do this, and the lighting changes as the evening goes on. Okay. We'll... We'll go with this. Yeah. It's alright. He's never practiced and he was still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? Yeah, it's good to have dreams, kid. Come on. My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? Yeah, it looks like he's trying to look like either a pop star or some kind of like host at a host club or something. You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. He's interesting. I like him. He does remind me a lot of Ryuji from Persona 5. I like him. Fumi I Yamada. am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Don't you get help from Saika? Yeah, that feels like a very obvious, like, like, trio thing. Alpha and the Omega. Oh, he's the fanfic one. Mm -hmm. I assumed it was a woman. That was my mistake. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh no. Ultimate Walrus is here. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> like, they're already Japanese. I want to be like, oh no, this guy. Oh no. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> yes, ultimate hentai addict. Yes. I'm sure that goes hand in hand. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. 2D is best. <laughs> 2D best waifu. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? Yeah, what was the rating on that fan comic you made? That doujinshi you made, buddy. 3D pig disgusting. <laughs> Haven't heard that term in a long time. That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. What gets me is he printed 10,000 copies for a school festival. Did he sell out? Does he have extras? How many did he make? It's a school festival. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. He, all he's missing is a fedora, honestly. Malady. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Neegi, I would you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm-hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. W what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Just on the tip of his hair. Yes. <laughs> Just a teeny tiny fedora on the top of the point on his hair. That would be amazing. Okay. So we've met those five. That was already amazing. Now we've got more. And then I think we've got one more after, because there's 15 of us, right? Okay, now to talk to these five people over there. All right, work our way over. Aoi Asahina. She's cute, hey, I like her. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Aw, oh, she's cute. Ultimate swimming pro. Of course, because she's tanned. That's, that's the anime thing, obviously. Ultimate bobs. She's my second favorite. Oh, who's your first favorite? Uh, Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. 
She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. All the bobs. See my first favorites. Okay, we'll wait and see then. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, uh, proportions has been widely discussed online. I bet. I bet. Hmm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Neegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that, it is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Oh, is she gonna do like that? Yeah! Oh, no. Makoto Neegi. Makoto Neegi. Ultimate thought, too. <laughs> she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. Ultimate gravity defying hair. Yeah, I, that must be gel. Get it to just... Her and uh, the walrus guy have the same hair gel. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Uh... <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. So, she can't... She can't write? Sh sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Alright. Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Alright, what is hers? Ultimate programmer. Okay. Whoa. Uh <laughs> the green from the screen went on my face and it did a funny thing there. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Let's never do that again. She's my favorite character. She is cute. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? I uh, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, good point. Sorry. Wait, she's a programmer. Wait, did she hack the school to find out who else made it in? Like, she looked him up ahead of time, and that's why she's like, Wait, I know of you! Oh, wait, you don't know I know you. Y you don't have to apologize for that. Ultimate hacker. Mr. Robot! It's Elliot Alderson. He looks great. Yeah. You have to apologize for that. Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, oh, she's crying. Oh, so listen, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. really sorry. Well, what are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. Cinnamon bun. Ultimate shy girl too. Yeah. Well, the other one was like a, a tsundere. Like, like b baka. I don't even like you. This one's more just like, just a shy girl. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her friends are so into her. Ooh, Makoto likes it. All right. Kyoko Kirigiri. That's a fun last name to say. I feel like Lysithia from Fire Emblem Three Houses got uh, some inspiration from this character. Thrilling conversation. Uh, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. See, I would have figured her as the programmer. Ultimate robot. <laughs> She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Yeah, ultimate edge. Not an edgelord, just edgy. Could this girl be one of them? 
Uh, so uh, what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... No, to get the ultimate luck thing, you're like the one. There are other lucky students. It's just gonna be the one. Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Fascinating. All right. Junko Enoshima. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm getting some, like, yandere vibes from her. It's, it's that, that big ol' smile and the... Uh, I'm, I'm getting some vibes here. She's the fashionista. <laughs> There's so many thoughts in this game. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Well, Photoshop. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Buddy, come on. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Yeah, <laughs> junk. <laughs> what can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. Ooh. Interesting. Ultimate junkyard. <laughs> They make the eyes and junk super- <laughs> They do actually call it junk. Super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Junko. Oh, well, yeah. Junko's the junk queen, I guess. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Alright. Mondo Owada. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to fucking meet ya. What an entrance. What a- what an introduction there. Ultimate Biker Gang Leader. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah, so many edgy characters in this. I like his jacket, though. I like the pattern on it. Yeah, and the corn hair. It's, it's the permed pompadour, don't you know? Uh, nice to meet you too? Yo. Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Alright, and now we're down to the last four. Those four over there are the only ones left. Alright. Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Oh man. Ultimate martial artist. Oh geez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Wearing a skirt, Makoto. Wake up. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Man, she could crush you with a thought. Now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. Hey now. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Ultimate Ogre. Hey, we don't know anything about her. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her, oh, that's why. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. That's not very nice. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. She'll break your heart. Both literally and figuratively. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Ultimate Ogress. Man, Fiona from Shrek better watch out. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. 
Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Uh, what are you doing? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. All right. Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. So he's rich. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> he does look like Husbando Bait. I'll give him that. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. Dude got into a school by having money. You know what, that's how most rich people get into schools. Let's be real here. There really isn't anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. You know what? That probably gives him, like, a complex or something. The fact that it's like, there's nothing special about him. He didn't train. He didn't work hard at anything. He just showed up one day. And he had money. Uh, ultimate get out of my sight, pleb. <laughs> get on my level, poor beggars. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Yes, Ultimate Glasses. I bet you he'd- no, he does the two-finger push. He's the cool guy, so he does the two-finger push. He doesn't do the one. Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. What a dick. Yasuhiro Hagakure. That's his deal. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I too know high. I will. He's the ultimate slacker? Is he the ultimate slacker? Oh! Oh, the green again. We're getting the green. <laughs> Love when characters do- oh, the glasses push up. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Just got introduced to the ultimate clairvoyant, who at first I thought was gonna be the ultimate slacker. Ultimate drug lord. Maybe. I mean, those are some sick dreads, bro. Yasuhira Hagakure, known as Supernova in the Psyche community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Hey, now. If anything, he's just a stoner. Like, he's got the scruff, he's got the dreads. The dude likes weed. I don't think he does much. He probably occasionally does shrooms. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? For serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in its mouth. Huh. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Huh. I think he's making that shit up. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. But hey, we should grab some brewskis. <laughs> We're in high school. Grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh. Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times and s Okay, so he's a slacker. See, and well, it's a long story. Dude, you're 21 and you're still in high school? Buddy. Get it together. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Alright, and the last one. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. The, uh, required foreign exchange student from Germany or America. That was second hero, yeah. Alright. Ultimate gambler, I wouldn't have guessed. Okay. Celestia Luden... huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. 
Uh, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Yeah, I bet. I bet it is. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Ultimate accent. Hello, Ute that doot. Welcome to the stream. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Well, I mean, you need to be good at bluffing if you're gonna be a gambler. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Oh, so she's a, she's a ruthless gambler. All right. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. Yeah, Makoto, there's a couple of people in this class you've got to watch out for, buddy. They're giving off some, some weird vibes here. And with that, all the introductions are done. Huh, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, uh, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. To defeat the Huns. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... <gasps> Um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? Don't get attached to any of the characters. I can't help it. I love all of them. I love most of them. <laughs> yes, don't, don't spoil it for me, okay? You, that dude... No spoilers, please. But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! <clears throat> and that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classroom and the hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's going on there? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it like... What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, you know, schools do this all the time. They kidnap students, they drug them, and then they wake up in a building where the windows are bolted shut and you can't leave. Every school does that. Also, I'm just gonna take one second because I'm noticing my lighting is looking really bad here. So, just one second. I'm just making one quick adjustment. Just a moment here. There we go, that's a bit better. There we go, all right. Ultimate criminal really did great this time. <laughs> oh. Just a second, just just a moment, yeah. Minor adjustment. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. It's just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh, well, if that's all it is, <laughs> it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. Man, we got two slackers. I can feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Ding dong, bing bong. A 
Oh boy, here we go. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Change the channel. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. What a friendly sounding character. I am at ease now and definitely not concerned. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! H hey! What, you're just gonna take off just like that? Could it My be? father will hear about this. Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. Yeah, that's a long way to go for a joke, buddy. I think I think you need to try high school one more time. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? W wait for me! I wanna go with you! <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. N not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um... This... this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but just sa staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. You know what? I can't feel scared when she's here. I feel safe. Her big beefy arms will protect us. But still, I'm kinda, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Do you wanna save the data? Yes. Um, can you save as you go along or do you have to wait for a save point in Danganronpa? I'm just curious about the what the pace of the game is. Save any time. Oh, that is handy. Good to know. Yes. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? Looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then, though. Can save any time. Okay. Good to know. All oh, right, yeah, I can hit tab. Oh, oh, I can talk to them all individually now, I guess. Oh, look at that first. There's a TV. The school is funded by the National, oh, so I guess it's not where to have TVs. Something feels off, I wonder what it is. Yeah, maybe the strange figure that was talking to us that sounded pretty creepy. This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. <laughs> Shit, what the hell kind of game are they playing? What the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? Yeah, I have to see what everybody thinks about that. Uh, um, Playing Tank and Rumba, yeah. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me? Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? I mean, she's being pretty reasonable. Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The choice, only choice is to push ahead. All right. What do you think, buddy? Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Um, oh wait, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, the giant gun. I should probably check to see what that is. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? I think it's a real gun, buddy. A mailbox. There's nothing inside. Okay. Um, I... Okay. I think unless this one's gonna say the same thing. Has a gun. There's no way it's a real gun. Okay. 
I think we're good. I think we've checked out everything. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna head out. Leave the area, yes. All right, so now we said to head to the gym, right? Ultimate weeb is the best ultimate. <laughs> the least useful, but yes. Um, what's the beeping do? Oh, I was wondering if that was something going off. Okay, go into the gym. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. That's a very specific statement to make, but okay. Might wanna get those checked out. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. No well, running then. in the hallways. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait, don't leave me here alone. You have people like Ultimate Programmer, Moral Compass, Baseball Star, and then you have Ultimate Fanfic Creator. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting mix of, of Ultimates here. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. Oh boy. You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Yeah, observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Okay, so what do we have here? So there's the TV, there's the door. Um, oh, there's a sword, katana, and ultimate weave, yes. A display case, there are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. the other students why are we the only ones here that is a good question this is bad I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now sir so probably want to the yes the ultimate swordswoman <laughs> this is gonna be the same it's a lot of TVs they couldn't just all be for that weird school broadcast could they well, I mean what else are they gonna spend that money on more plates for the doors and the windows oh wait here we go another camera Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, I think that's everything, but let me just do one last look around this way. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Also, very two-dimensional there, but all right, let's go. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told you. It's totally nor it's totally normal entrance it's It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Alright, let's see. Oh. Ooh, we got a cinematic. Just a bear. Huh? No biggie. Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. Mascot character detected. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Obviously. No hair, it's not normal. <laughs> it was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. 
Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? What? That teddy bear can talk! What? Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey! I Come told you on already. Now. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? Ah, it moved! Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Bear it! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear it. Oh no, it is Teddy's cousin. An unbearable bear of a battle! Well, bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so... Huh. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! <laughs> Everyone stand at attention and bow, and good morning. You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Or he doesn't do anything more until later in the game. I don't know, I like him. Like, I, I'm good with the puns. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life will be here will be like. Now, ah, uh, make no mistake, you view students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope. <laughs> You will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life... Too bad! There isn't one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. This is not... Man, this is getting bleak. <laughs> What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yeah. Yeah, he's not as round as Teddy. He's pretty round, though. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school... They're there to keep us trapped in here? Phew! That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you yell and scream for help, help will not come. He says that so cheerfully. And the music is so cheerful. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. D Damn yeah, cut you. this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. I'm being You horrible. keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna but do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. Yeah, ultimate skeptics. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? Never stop. <laughs> it's ultimate everything. Ultimate frisbee. And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... But you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Yeah, ultimate bear. Hm. Really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Man, that dreads guy who's the clairvoyant, he's, he was doomed from the start. He's already failed high school how many times? Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. 
As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another. M murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. See, I knew that there was murder involved in the game, but I wasn't sure how it was incorporated in. Like, and I know there's multiple murders, so it was like, there can't be like this many homicidal people here, just by chance. This is an interesting dynamic. I really like this. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Where are we at, four now? Is that four despairs? Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means, but that's... That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering? Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. I'm on. I'm uneasy. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Yeah, that, that extreme anime close-up with the shiny eye. Listen. From this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? Yeah! And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. <sighs> All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah, who is the ultimate simp? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, Yeah, right? I mean... You know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like, like ultimate headmaster. Duh, shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? Shots fired. Shots fired. You son of a bitch. Ugh! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. Toko is the ultimate. I, I'm still learning names. I can't remember who Toko is. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He'd locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or... Whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? I'm sure the that's violence not good. against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Oh, now there's rules. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here. I swear to Christ. Hey, damn it. What? No smartass comeback this time. That's an ominous alarm. Piece of shit. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out. Watch out. Get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... Boom. Goes the dynamite. The hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life... Ultimate suicide bear. That's a, just a suicide bomb. 
ultimate kamikaze. I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. And there's another. Ah, there's another one? D you son you. of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now. I mean, of you tried course. to kill me. Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Uh, hey, so does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking it... If you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Monotuma. <laughs> Th that's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Infinite Monokuma. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. No, I don't have a Discord set up yet. <laughs> I'm just starting out on this streaming thing, so... I'll get to it at some point. But I do have a Twitter, so if you're curious about when I'm gonna be doing my next stream, I will be updating it below. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial. We have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. I think that's, out of all the anime I've watched, that is the most interesting opening ceremony I've ever seen. I'll give it that, absolutely. Bye-bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! <laughs> and with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? Why? I, I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? What, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone. Right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... See, he's very concerned because he knows, like... If somebody's gonna die first, it's probably gonna be him. This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, so in other is words, there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. <laughs> they all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. You can almost taste the hostility. Well, I mean, no, clairvoyance can't read minds. I was gonna say that would be a big advantage. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. 
Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? That was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. <laughs> we're at five. Welcome to Despair. The end. Well, that was a good game. No. <laughs> Surviving students. Oh, boy. What, what I gotta wonder, though, is... The graduates from this. This has happened before, correct? Like, if there's graduates... Wouldn't they have said something? Or they would have been implicated of murder. Of course, they wouldn't say anything. Ooh, the opening. Oh, I love this. It's an opening. I'm digging the music, too. Does bop. I, this did get adapted into an anime. It must have. It did. Okay. I had a feeling it did. Like it's it's well known enough and like it's perfect for it. It is an anime that you play. It's one of the best openings. This is a cool opening. Is that a truck? What? Hope turns to despair. Yep. Trigger Happy Havoc. Danganronpa. Some... Oh, like even then in the Japanese it's in English? That's interesting. But sometimes they do that. I mean, Mob Psycho 100 does that too. You received the school crest present. You want to save the data? Oh, from zero to hero, achievement unlocked. Yes, I would like to save here. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. To survive daily life. Ooh. A target on your back. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <clears throat> right. She's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <clears throat> to forget <clears throat> such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. Man, he is too intense. Like... Dude's gotta relax. I, I think the clairvoyant guy's gotta hook him up with whatever weed he's smoking because he needs it. Man. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Ooh. Um. I get the feeling he probably likes that. Huh? No judgment. I'm not here to kink shame. I'm not here to kink shame. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However. Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid idiot to look for a way out, duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but, but before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. Plus, I'm sure she can hack it too. Might be able to find out something. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. Fine. So then... then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Okay. The E 
e-handbook. Makoto Neigi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So, just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Students may... An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Ooh, slacker guy better watch out. Clairvoyant guy with the dreads. And me, I guess I fell asleep too. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Do we still have to, like, do classes? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. We'll just keep coming up with rules whenever we feel like it. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. No classes. Okay. So it's like in the loosest sense of the terms, a school, so to speak. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yeah, you don't have multiple lives, it's just the one, buddy. I think. Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? <laughs> Only have one life to live, so choose wisely. Yes. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but you were saying... But you were saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um... That wasn't, that wasn't too hard to bring him down from that cliff, was it? Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such Frankly, ignorance. I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Really, buddy? Okay. <laughs> D don't jab at me. Give me a break. I think that was flirting. I think they were flirting. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. Hmm. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? Well, he said he was going to provide that stuff. You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? No, that's actually probably pretty smart, because if, if you're going off, like, in pairs... I mean, that'd be the perfect secluded spot for somebody to kill you, I'm just saying. Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. There we go. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Then why don't you just walk around in groups of three? Then you have a witness. I don't think two people can get out for the same murder. Uh, hold on a second. Mind you, you could just kill two. W wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. 
Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. Wow. I... Can Togami fight? Something tells me he can't. I feel like Daddy provides bodyguards for him most of the time. What? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Such One ignorance. tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. And what are you, like a shark or whale? You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. S stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you just say? Some kind of goody-goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? Uh, somebody's projecting. <laughs> somebody's got daddy problems. N no, I wasn't. You son of a fuck bitch! Fuck you! Wham. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I'd just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. That was a lot to think after getting punched out, before it finally cut out completely. Womp womp. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Nice room. Ugh. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. Okay, gotcha. All right. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. It's McDonald's? At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Okay, finally press the F2 key to review the transcript. Okay, this records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Okay, for the investigation purposes. Okay, so I just wanna check out this menu here, and it's quite dark in my apartment, so I have to turn my head down to get a look at it. Here we go. Okay, map, truth, bu truth bullets, and an actual gun, look at that. Presence, <gasps> can have presents. I want to give presents to people. Report card. Review report cards for each student at Hope's Peak. Regulations. It's under system, he said, where you can save, correct? Okay. All right. Uh, not much for the map in that. Okay, interesting. All right, let's take a look around my, my room. I'm glad that they didn't, like, they gave me my own private room. That's nice. I'm a teenager. I need my privacy. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. This must be the key to the room. My name is written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? No. I better hang on to it for now. All right, in my inventory. Um, what's that? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says, announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. That seems like an odd detail. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Wait, why? Like, if it's just a one-person room, why does that matter? Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. A sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. Hey, what if some of the girls want a tool kit? What if some of the boys want a sewing kit? Come on, let's break down some of these gender stereotypes a little bit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. 
One stab will do the job, girls. Oh, okay. All right. I'm, I'm not. I'm not hating on the sewing kit now. I want to steal. <laughs> For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Murder. I crumbled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Oh, you didn't know? One of the rules was you can't, can't tear up a memo, an official memo from the school. Punishment. Some kind of metal plate mounted here. Yeah. Um, camera. Take note of the camera. Oh, it's a tablet? Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. Sounds thrilling and chilling to be killing. <laughs> Rules off the tongue. Um, what is that? Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Ah, it's to hide the evidence after you murder. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Uh, sad music, not gonna lie. It's creepy. It's eerie music right now. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. It's just a trash can. What's in the trash can is the paper I wadded up and threw away. Nice. What? What was that? Okay. Huh. Um, I think... Uh, oh, well, yeah. The drawers and my bed. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. It looks kind of small. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Uh, my bed. I mean, it's a very boxy looking bed. It does look nice. Collect them coins. Yeah, I assume they're for something. Maybe I can, like, trade them in. Doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Look under the bed. <laughs> Monokuma's just under the bed, just, hello! <laughs> um. Oh, bathroom. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's, it's not opening. You can buy gifts with coins. <gasps> oh, that's how I do presents! Yes, I need those coins. I need to give presents to all of my favorites who I'm not sure who's my favorite yet. I guess it's locked. Um, that's bad if the bathroom is is locked and I can't get in. <laughs> How, where am I supposed to go to the bathroom? Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. Monokuma probably did it. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. I mean, good luck with that one. Um, I'd assume use the toolkit to take off those, but I don't know if you can. do anything else really right now. Oh, whoops. Hit auto by accident. No. Okay, so what? I try the door? Uh, it said it's locked, though. Can I go? Wait, will I die if I do? I don't know what time it is. I have no other choice. We're going for it. Here, I'm gonna just try to adjust my lighting a little bit. I've got a weird shadow behind me. There we go. Rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting there, waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's a little meat cute. Oh, uh, Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Daijobu. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. They're not all thoughts. We don't know that yet. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. 
I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Yeah, and heels too, I imagine. That's good then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. Oh, I probably got a good shiner going right now. That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto. Oh, I'm I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see... After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found. Or each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Okay. Okay, that's Mondo's room. That's mine. I'll just take it. I'll examine it. This is where I just came out of. My name and picture are on the nameplate. There's no reason for me to go back inside. Looks like there's some kind of nameplate. The door themselves all look pretty much the same. Um... Oh, okay, they all look- okay, it's gonna be the same thing for each of them. Okay, so, um, oh, Sayaka's room's right next- see, I figured it was gonna be, like, men's wing, women's wing, or, like, sides, sort of thing, but they really mixed us up, so, okay, let's take a look-see. So, I'm in between Kyoko and Sayaka. All right, and then there's Toko, Chihiro, Aoi, Sakura, Oh, oh yeah, right, there's so many of us. Yeah, there's Celeste, Junko, Celeste and Junko, interesting. Oh, the twin tail sisters right there. Haha, -ha. they both got their pigtail things. Yakuya next to Mondo. Yeah, there's not gonna be any problem having them next to each other. That's not gonna cause problems. Okay, we got Leon. So hero. Man, this is like Slacker Central right here. Hifumi. And then just Hifumi. Just the last one. Alright, so um, I'm trying to remember. Tab? Uh, yes, here we go. Tab. So let's see. Okay. So we're all going to the dining hall. So you know what? I'm just gonna do a bit of exploring. I just wanna see what's down this way. Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. Yes, I know, but I want to look. Let me explore. Okay, so there's some windows. Look, we got some. I imagine we can't break these, though. I'm sure it's like, even bullets couldn't pierce this. It would be unbearable. It's gonna say the same. Boy's bathroom, I'll have to make sure I remember it's here. Yeah, especially since our bathroom is locked. Okay, I'm lost already. Okay, so that's... Laundry facilities, I guess. This is a big wide open area here. Not creepy at all. Oh, there's the dining hall. Okay. Um, so we're coming up on two hours on this stream. I think I might call it here for today. Let me just go down and save real quick. All right. Yes, I just saved. I always get that thing where it's just like, did I save? I'll save again. All right. So I think I'm gonna call it here for today, but I'm ri I'm very curious. Oh, thank you so much, Yay Day, for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Uh, ooh, yeah. I'm so curious to see what's gonna happen. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying the dynamic with these characters. I'm wondering what's- yeah. I'm very curious as to what's gonna happen from here. I don't know who's gonna die first. Honestly, I'm thinking the- the otaku guy's probably got a big old target on him. And I'm not just saying that because he's big. I said that by accident. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but out of all of them, I feel like he would go first. Or maybe somebody would go for a smart person first. Someone who might be able to find them out. If you kill the smart person, you don't have to worry about the smart person finding out it was you. So there's a lot of interesting ways. I'd be curious to see who the first killer is going to be. Uh, 
so just a moment here. Whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, never mind. There we go. Uh, so I think I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Yes, I, I, I'm really excited, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It's, it's like playing my Japanese animes. Um, so let's see, when am I gonna be streaming next? I'm either gonna be streaming... I know for sure I'm gonna be streaming on Monday night, roughly the same time, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, seeing how my Sunday goes, I potentially might stream then as well, probably a bit earlier in the day, probably in the afternoon, but we'll see. I might have something going on that day, but in any case, uh, if you're planning on following along with me, I'm really excited about continuing this. I will be posting updates on my next stream in my Twitter below. Um, you know what? I am really, you know what? We're doing it Sunday. We'll be, we'll be playing on Sunday and I will be putting the time on Twitter as well, um, but I had a really great time, and thank you so much for joining me for the stream. Uh, let me see if I can get out of this for a moment, because just a quick moment here, because in order to stop my stream, I have to... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I gotta get out of the game, and in order to get out of the game, I gotta press some buttons. Is there any... How do I quit? It only gets better or worse. I'm excited. Better or worse, I'm super, I'm super excited for that. Oh my goodness, how do I get out of this? Here, wait, I'm just trying to escape. Wow, I'm an idiot. Um, sorry, I, I, I came home straight from work and got to doing this, so my brain has just like completely melted. I promise, I'm not normally this stupid. In any case, if I am this stupid, it is gonna be entertaining seeing me try to figure out the puzzles in this, because I know there is some uh, solving of mysteries, and I'll need all the help I can get. <laughs> there we go. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. I'm gonna be back at it, probably on Sunday afternoon. I'll be figuring out the exact time a bit later on, but again, keep an eye on my Twitter. I'll be updating it there, and you'll probably get a notification if you follow me anyway. But in any case, Thank you so much for joining me. Always appreciate it. Have yourself a good night.